This is Dr. Kevin of Associates in South Texas. I'm going to show you a patient with elevated intraocular pressure after cataract surgery in considerable pain, secondary to elevated intraocular pressure. You can see that the paracentesis incision superiorly stains with fluorescein here with a cobalt blue filter. And this is the area where we, we will release aqueous out of using a 27 or 25 gauge needle to press on the posterior aspect of the wound. You can see that there is microcystic edema of the cornea around the paracentesis incision and also centrally in the cornea. Here demonstrated as little bubbles around the paracentesis incision. You will see that we will bring a 25 or 27 gauge needle superiorly just to press on the posterior aspect of the wound. This is after 5% betadine has been applied to the eye and topical anesthetic. You will see a gush of fluid come from the paracentesis incision made previously in cataract surgery. This will immediately relieve the patient's symptoms of pressure and nausea that goes along with elevated intraocular pressure. After which prostaglandins and aqueous suppressant medications will be instilled in the eye to assure that the patient will not have elevated intraocular pressure episode again after cataract surgery. This is Dr. Kavanaugh from My Associates of South Texas. Thank you for your attention.